Hi, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Lauren and today we are doing something a little different. It is savings challenge. So that's not the new thing, but normally I do my savings challenges after I do my normal cash stuffing, but I am going away. So I decided to do my savings challenges first and then see how my other expenses kind of pan out. But I know I'm saving this money, so I figured I'd do my savings challenge video first, and then we'll follow it up with my cash stuffing. But before we hop into the video, I just wanted to uh, share a little happy mail with you guys. So I'm going to move my wallet out of the way, and I got a Christmas card. So this card comes from Budget with Leia, and oh my gosh. I might start crying again. You are awesome. So she got me a Tim Burton themed Christmas card. It is so beautiful. And I'm not going to read what she wrote just because it really meant so much to me and I just want to keep it personal. But she also, I just, I'll show you the little Merry Christmas. So pretty. And with the washi tape with the puppies. And she also got me, gave me some stickers, which I love every single one of them. And basically, uh, it really touched me because um, I go through a lot of self-doubt, especially with like YouTube and everything. And like, I don't know if I'm doing well or if I'm doing like not doing well at all. So... This really came at a good time, so I'm not going to cry. <laughs> so thank you, and I will add this with my Christmas cards, and don't worry, yours is in the, in the mail. I'm so happy you sent me one because I was just about to ask you for your address to send you a Christmas card, so thank you so much, and I love this, and I will keep it forever. <laughs> So the second happy mail is from Intentional Living. So I have been w wanting her stuff for a very long time, but she is on the higher end of budgeting goods. And this Black Friday, I took the plunge and I bought myself something from her shop. I got the envelopes. It's the 12 days of envelopes. So basically she did like an advent calendar but with um, 12 envelopes. So envelopes and each envelope is got a different label inside and I'm very excited to see what the new labels look like. So I did get a she had a couple different options so you can get a clear cover or a um what's gonna call it oh my gosh i forgot the word well this kind of i want to say it's it's not vellum i don't know maybe it is vellum i'll have the word on the screen i'm like lost for words still but it's so cute I can't wait to see what it looks like I might open one or two maybe I'll open one but each one has like a different little cardstock inside I like the little Christmas ones they're so pretty so should I open one I think so I'm gonna open one with you guys because I am planning to do put this video out on Tuesday and that is the first day of this 12 days of envelopes so she also in before I get into that I'm getting way ahead myself this is her card intentional living thank you for supporting my small business and then she includes a little congratulations on either beginning or consulting your or consulting <laughs> or continuing your journey or of intentional living and financial wellness so she gave me a two dollar bill so yay I will 
I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it, but yay, I have a $2 bill. Maybe I'll put it in one of my envelopes for like good luck. So there's that. And let's see what our first label is going to be. Should I take it? I guess I should take out the whole thing. Mm, dun, da, da. Drum roll, please. Ooh, that's cool. So uh, hopefully my camera picks it up. I don't know if it will, but it says January and then it's, it's like repeated. So it says January all the way up. So I decided to go with the 12 months cause this is going to be like my new monthly binder. So yay, that's so pretty. And I told her that my, um, favorite colors are, um, like pastels, pinks, blues, purples. So yay. Let's see. How do I do this? Maybe I just stick the whole thing on there. I'm like, how do I do this? Oh, maybe there's a little edge thing. Oh, it's like a, it's a, Hold on. Please hold. She wanted to do try out these stickers. So let's see if I can do this correctly. Ah, it's stuck on my hand. Get off. Okay. So let's see. Hmm. I'm like, I can't see. I don't know why I'm whispering. Anyone else do that? When they're very concentrated, they start whispering. Okay, maybe this is right. Nope, nope. Abort, abort. I <laughs> will get this. Who any anyone who's like still watching, thank you for watching <laughs> my channel. Hopefully I oh no. Get all the air bubbles out. Hopefully I'm not struggling too much. Let's see. Let's put one of these behind it so you can see. Because I don't know if you can see on camera. Can't really see. Can't really see it too well. Hopefully you can see it. But it's like January repeated. It's pretty. I like it. I'm so excited to see what the other ones look like. I don't know if they'll all be the same. Or if like they'll all be different. We shall see, but I'll put that back in there. So I will probably continue to post one every day on my Instagram. So if you're not following me there, go ahead and uh, click, click. There is no link down below, but there is my Instagram handle down below. So I'm gonna clear this out and we'll start our savings challenge video. Okie dokie, let's get the dough. I'm in a very happy mood. Maybe because it's Christmas is almost here. And I do have a, a vlog coming. I did want to do something for Vlogmas. I know I can't do it every day, but uh, stay tuned for that. Hopefully it'll be coming out soon, as soon as I can edit it. So today we are cash stuffing. 50 70, 90, 110, 130, 140, 150, 160, 170, 180, 190, uh, 195, 200, 205, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, so 55 dollars, haha, 205 dollars is what I'm cash stuffing today, oh my gosh, I cannot speak, but that's okay. Everybody gets a little tongue-tied every now and then. Am I right? Am I right? I get tongue-tied quite a bit. I think my brain thinks faster than I can speak. Okay, so let me get out my savings challenge from Chris Budgets. All right. So this is, oops, upside down. This is a little bit impromptu, so 
I don't have everything I need. Let's flip to our savings challenges. This is how my budget looks. All right. So this is my little guide. Let's put this back here. That way I know what I'm cash stuffing. So today we are doing 69 and that is second to the last one for this challenge and I am so excited because we have one more left. Which is also kind of crazy because we, then that means I have one more paycheck, paycheck of the year. Holy moly. Oh no, I colored two purples next to one another. Oh well. So that's that all colored in. We're just going to roll with it today. So in our yearly, we're going to put 69, 50, 65, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69. Okay. I did do a bit of a bill condensing just because it was getting a little um, too chunky. And I broke my envelope trying to get it out. So there's that. <laughs> uh, this placeholder comes, from, comes to me from Breezy Budget Shop over on Etsy. She's also sticky budgeting on YouTube and I did get a beautiful dashboard from her and you will see that in my regular cash stuffing because I ordered I wanted to have like a cute thing for Christmas so now in yearly we have 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 950, 65, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, and 78. So $978 in our yearly challenge. So next next paycheck, we will complete this. So excited for our yearly challenge, which this one is going towards my move out expenses. And then for our four seasons challenge, I decided to choose number 28. So we are going to color in 28 there. My marker is still dying. So I really do need a new one. <laughs> okay. So there is that. And we'll put 28. And this challenge is going to go towards my next convention coming up in February. So now in our winter savings challenge, we have 20, 40, 55, 56, 7, 8, 9, 70, 71, 72 dollars. Very good. So I'm actually going to scratch off one. I figured it'd be more fun to do it with you on video. That's why I picked 28 for this time around. Next week we are going to stuff. Oh, I thought that was going to be two. <laughs> I was going to be like, what? So next paycheck we are stuffing $27 into our winter savings challenge. I'm curious to see um, how much this one's going to be. Because we're already at 72 Okay, next up is Goth Baby, and this is from Mystic Budgets, and she is the Sassy Mystic on Etsy. She just came out with a really cool challenge, and I was like, I'm buying it. I don't need another challenge, but I needed that one. It's really cool because it's a quarterly um, savings challenge, and it's called Time Flies, and essentially you look at the clock for the week, and then you add up all the numbers so if it's like uh let's see if it's 9 15 so i would add 9 1 and 5 so that's 9 6 
9, 10, and 15. So I would say $15 for that week. And then it's a four, four week challenge. And then so four, and then there's, I think there's one month that's five weeks. So I'm curious to see how that goes. So we're going to color in another bow. So if that's something you're curious and interested about, uh, go ahead and check her out. She is linked down below because I'm using her savings challenges. So we colored in one and we're going to get a five. So now in our goth baby challenge, we have 10, 15, 20, and 25. I thought it was interesting and different. And I never seen anyone do like a quarterly savings challenge so that was pretty cool and um, next up is our concert vibes challenge and we're gonna do five as well and this is also from mystic budgets I think I'm gonna color it in with our music note right. if you heard word noises that's my dog dreaming in the background Okay, so another five. I don't know what he's dreaming about, but it's adorable. So now in Concert Vibes, we have 10, 20, 25, 30, and 35. And I have no idea what my goth baby challenge is going to, but my Concert Vibes is going to be paying myself back for concert tickets that I bought for next October. And next up is our Gas Up Savings Challenge, and this one is by uh, The Budgeting Dolls, and we are actually going to color in Maine. I don't know why I said it like that, but we're coloring in Maine. And Maine's Gas, went, at the time that I looked this up, it was 364 I believe. So I think what I'm going to do is if my gas price like mine is to fill up 10 gallons of gas so I would times that by 10 and so I would get 36 and 40 cents so if it's 50 cents or more I'm gonna add a dollar if not then I'm gonna keep it as is so it's 40 cents so I'm gonna keep it at 36 so I'm adding 36 dollars to this challenge and I closed it so this one's going to be fun. I have no idea what this one's going to go to, but I was excited because this one's a very unique challenge as well. So it will definitely probably take me a little while because I've only done two states. <laughs> so now in our Gas Up Savings Challenge, we have 20, 40, 50, 5. Oops. Let's try that again. 20, 40, 50, 65, 70, and 71. I feel like this one's going to add up real quick if the gas prices are above $3. <laughs> yeah, I'm not looking forward to getting to you to California. But I think I'm going to stay on the East Coast and then just like work my way over. So that's it for our Gas Up Savings Challenge. Next up is our Mini Challenge, and we are just going to add $1 today. That's pretty much all I could spare. But hey, a dollar is a dollar, right? So now in our 50 mini, we have one, two, three, four, five. Five dollars already. So that means we have $45 left. I think in the new year, I'm going to do a lot of like smaller denomination challenges so I can um, do a lot more. So that's it for our 50 mini challenge. Next up is our dollar savings challenge. And I have my wallet here. And I believe I have a receipt. <laughs> I have been overspending, not going to lie. Oh, and these are my new Christmas envelopes. I got them from Tiny Stitch Creations. So I have I won these from Emily Budget's giveaway so we have crates dining out all my normal ones personal and in our challenge envelope we have some dollars so you'll see more of that in my next cash stuffing. 
So we have one, two, three dollars only. That's okay. Three dollars into our dollar challenge, and I will be counting this at the end of the year. Next up is our five dollar challenge, and I'm skipping that this time around. And next up is 1K, and that's going to get 20. And this one is by Vanilla Budgets. I don't know, I don't think she has her shop open yet. So hopefully soon, because it's really cute. So there we go, we got 20. And this challenge here is actually going to debt. So now we have 150, 70, and 80. So we have 180 in our 1K challenge. And these placeholders here, the Boa Bear Bucks, those are by Sav Budgets. And then next up is our 25 week savings challenge by Alba. And I'm doing 16 and 17. And that's going to be in our little mini binder, which is Christmas themed. This one is also going to my convention. I just want to be really prepared for it because um, this is a little bit of a more expensive convention that I go to in February. And I just want to feel like really prepared. So I, I have 16. I'm going to put it in here. And I am going to the, com the anime convention very soon. Um, I think it's this weekend. So I may be posting some uh, shots from the anime convention on my Instagram. So if you'd like to follow along, you know what to do. Go ahead and follow me on Instagram. So there is 17. And we don't have very many left. So I should be able to hopefully finish this by the convention. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So we have seven envelopes left. And she is getting chunky. I could not grab that strap. So there is that all set. And then next up after that is going to be our mini binder. And I'm going to be doing the self-care uh, self challenge. And this one is by the little helpful files. I hope to do more of these challenges in the new year, but we shall see because there's a lot of cool ones out there. Um, I can't find my green, so we're just gonna do the blush today. Okay, so we'll stick this back in here. And I finally condensed this because it was getting way too full. So now in our self-care sinking fund, we have 50, 100, 10, 15, 20. So 120, which is great. And then next up after this is our scratch off, which I, it was in an envelope. This is also by Albo from Unique Life. And I decided to put Yato on my um, box. I found this box over at Walmart. I still need to take off that sticker there, but it fits the envelopes perfectly. So I decided to put Yato here because uh, this face makes me laugh so much. If you've seen Noragami, you know what I'm talking about. But we scratched off number seven last time, and so that's what we're going to stuff. Okay, so I think I did it this way. 
and then we'll scratch off another one. So we have all these complete already. I guess I should put them in the back. It is a little bit tight, but it still works. I might be squishing it towards the end. Let's see. Let's pick that one. Let's pick a random one. All right, hopefully it's not super high because I really want to put a lot towards debt next paycheck. <sighs> Yay, 16. I can deal with that. Okay. So that's what we'll be doing next time, 16. Let's put that on top, back in my little box. And last but not least is our box from Amethyst Budgets. And we are doing, let's see, I believe we're doing the Nine of Hearts. Here it is, Nine of Hearts. So that is times four. And that will be 36. So this should be the rest of the money here. So 20, 30, five, and six. So, I think a bit more than I could chew on this challenge, so I'm going to be unstuffing it. And I did say that it was going to go towards um, my anime convention, so that's where it's going to go to. And I have a new plan. I'm going to use it still in the new year, but I'm going to do a different challenge for it. And yeah, I think this challenge is like little too much for me when I'm trying to pay down quite a bit of debt especially when it comes to like the ace and then if I get like the ace of spades it's like times 25 I mean times five and that's a lot of money so I did start this in April we'll see how much I saved since then and yeah that will all go towards my anime convention binder still in put to good use. Kind of sad that I'm not going to finish it, but I might try it again after I finish off some of my debt. So with that being said, this is the end of my video. Thank you so much for joining me and sticking to the end. If you stay to the end, give me a little cat emoji. Um, then I'll know that you stayed to the end of the video and I appreciate you so so much thank you so much for being here and if you liked it please like this video it really helps support my channel and get me out to a lot of people I would love to end the year at 500 but I know that just having you guys here um, just makes me so happy so thank you so much and I will see you in my next video Bye.